What is going on guys? This is Austin with Lunker Life coming at you guys for a video today. Uh, fishing's been terrible. I'm going to try to still get a video out once a month, but this video, as you can tell, is uh, in the garage with the boat. Reason for today's video, fishing's been horrible. Can't get any good footage, so I want to give you guys a quick little breakdown of this rig. Um, I'll do more in depth later. This is just a little quick something I wanted to throw together. Bought this back in March of last year. Gave a whopping fifteen hundred bucks for it. Uh, guy referred me to it. Um, I ain't got a lot of extra money right now, so I was going to take what I could get. This is the nineteen eighty four, sorry, Stratus three seventy five V. Old, very old. Uh, was left outside four years to suffer and let nature claim it back, but I brought it back to life. Carpet was peeling. Carpet was non-existent. Um, this was my first attempt to ever re-carpet anything. Overall, I'm satisfied with how it turned out. I mean, got a few areas right through here where I goofed and could have done a much better job, but that's okay. Trial and error. And like I said, I didn't get 40 grand for this. I gave 1500 so beggars can't be choosers. Um, shortly after buying it, actually very shortly after buying it, the uh, motor blew on me. I uh, really didn't even get to take it fishing. It was more or less just taking it out for a test run. And a uh, lesson I learned, when you buy anything, you need to get it serviced, especially if it's been sledding outside this long. My assumption was either the fuel line was clogged up, uh, could have been some gum in the gas tank, it hadn't been empty, so we was running water through it um, that had accrued in it and accumulated over those four years. So that probably factored into it. Um... So water pump too wasn't pumping water properly, causing it to overheat. It wasn't peeing properly. And the carburetors could have been gommed up. Who knows? But that's all contributing factors to why she blew. So I was 1500 bucks in, blew the motor. Actually a little bit more. I had to buy batteries and all that, but that's okay. And here I am with a boat with no motor, just a lower unit. And next thing you know, a guy I know um, sends me a thing on Facebook. He's like, what kind of motor did you have that blew? I said, an 84 Mercury Black Max 150 two-stroke. He said, I've got a guy who's got an 85. He's got the Powerhead in Charlotte, North Carolina for a thousand bucks. Great compression on all cylinders. I did not hesitate. Went down there, did a compression test. All was good. Very excited about it. And picked it up. He said his lower unit froze on his, and all he had was a good upper unit. And I said, well, I'm quite the opposite. I've got a good lower unit, but not an upper unit. So for a thousand bucks, there we are, 2,500 bucks in. And I've probably added another 500 in miscellaneous parts and pieces. I've had to buy new tires. They were dry rotted. Uh, the carpet was probably cheap Lowe's carpet, hundred bucks. Um, kind of had to rig it a little bit there. Kind of had some errors right there, but that's just live and learn. I learned don't buy, Lowe's carpet's not horrible, but if you got extra money, buy good stuff. Buy good glue. I tried going the cheap route. I uh, had to end up re-gluing a lot of this. Some of it's even screwed in to hold it into place. And you can probably see the difference here. Went to Lowe's. They also gave me two different types of carpet. Didn't even catch that until I'd already cut it and installed it. But I'm okay with it. I mean, like I said, $1,500. Again, I can't be too picky. But after a lot of servicing and maintenance, I got this thing running really good. Uh, it's 17 and a half foot long. Got a little rod locker right here. Kind of just going through on my lunch break currently and going through tackle trying to straighten a few things up. Uh, it's got a very old hummingbird depth finder. I still have not bolted these chairs down yet. Um, I'm actually thinking about maybe replacing them later on, but uh, right now I just want to fish. I'm tired of <laughs> messing with it. Um, plenty of storage, two live wells. Both my pumps are shot. That's my next upgrade is new live well pumps. Um, but aside from that, I mean, it cranks, runs good. Um, better than I ever expected to get a 39-year-old boat. So I'm thrilled with this thing. Um, overall, it's got a couple soft spots in it. Nothing major, which, but that is a big sign of decay and rot. So that may need to be addressed if I plan on keeping this for longer than a few years. I haven't decided on that yet. Um, it's just a job to tackle another day. But um, I'll go more in depth on this another time. I just kind of wanted to show you guys the rig, how far it's come. Uh, if you follow us on Instagram, you can see the pictures. I mean, the carpet was just tore all to shreds on this thing when I got it. And uh, 
even fished with it a little bit that way for a while. Um, I wasn't going to put a lot of money into the cosmetic side of this until I got the uh, mechanical side there straightened out. That motor seems to be running good. Um, it occasionally does bog down when I'm trying to plane out and it will cut off, but it, I'll crank it right back up and most of the time it planes out the next attempt just fine. So probably still got a little gum up carbs, I guess. Maybe uh, I can let the mechanic work on that next time I take it by. Uh, I'll get its yearly servicing here in a, the next month before I really start heavily going into the fishing. Um, trolling motor was still good. Surprised them. Um, very surprised by that. I figured it would have been shot leaving it outside. A little motor guide, a 70 pound thrust does the job. Uh, this seized up on me one time. Had to replace that. Thankfully, a guy at work had a spare one laying around. He just gave me. Uh, half this was dry rotted. Probably still need to replace it, but does the job. Need to put a little wheel on there because that's uh, starting to scuff that up whenever I load it. But yeah, no, great little boat. Love it. Great to fish with. I've Fish is two people, no problem. Probably could even fish three on it as long as we're careful and not on big water. Um, it'll run about 55 to 60. I have not gotten it over 57 by myself yet. Uh, 57 is the highest. That was with a full tank of gas. Oh, my bad, let me rewind. That was just me with about a half tank of gas. I think if it's just me with just a couple gallons of gas, I could probably get closer to 60. But a uh, full tank of gas... Two people, it can probably hit 49.50 fairly easy. So it's got plenty of power, does the job that I need it to do. By no means is it the flashiest or um, the newest or biggest, but it does the job and it catches fish just as good as any other boat, just, you know, minus the electronics and all that good stuff. Very happy with it. Can't wait to make a lot of videos this year for it and you guys in this boat for you guys. Um, but until then, I'm going to let you guys go. Just wanted to show you the rig and how far it's come. Y'all have a good one. Happy fishing.